Alright, cool. It doesn't actually detect the actual fucking thing. Oh yeah, I need to switch account to make it gaming. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna bother having the live stream shit on the screen. I say yes, the live screen shit is on the screen. There's a YouTube chat, I'm just gonna hide that. Done. Let's just crack on with the bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I also just want some music playing, uh, you know what, Sonic Rush, it's a pre-based fucking soundtrack. Yeah, you can buy a single thing of this. Apologies for just stalling on everything. Let's just crack on. So, hot. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. That was so loud. I forgot I had the volume set for when I was like loud speakering it. Not personal headphones. What's the volume? Yeah. Anyway, I should probably just crack on with the game, so... Oh. That's a bit interesting. Oh, I can't... I can't do the funny druid. Uh. So like, what's the bomb path? The bomb path is, it's the bird. So no, that's kind of bad. Uh, the tree is pretty good to be fair. Um, yeah, sniper isn't that good to justify so many slots. Uh. The sub is pretty good, but what are the map choices? So... Okay, there's like the little pool there, little pool there, little pool there, little pool there. Yeah, I could have him as D camo, but... Entirely depends on what I want. Oh wait, yeah. Druid of the Jungle is still pretty good. This is why I like these ones. Alright, I can only do... I can only do upper path. Uh, Glaive... Alright, what's going to have mob damage then? I guess Attack Shooter will have mob damage. A bottom path sub will have mob damage. Um, on path wizard is pretty good to be fair. Uh, I 
Alright, well, I'm not gonna have fucking five elite snipers. I don't really need more than one of these guys. Hmm. Like, I mean, the bomb path guy is pretty good, but... I don't think these maps are really... Yeah, because uh, he's stuck in the pit. Uh, that one, it's just stronger. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. This one would probably be really good for him. Alright, but what I'm not really seeing is a reason for... No, like, Boomerang can kind of cheat this shit. Like, even with, like, the fucking Glaive guys, they can quite handily take care of the thingies. It's this one which is going to be, like, the biggest issue. Oh well, yeah, I think we will just be like relying on the wizards. So I mean, subs will be our best bet, so I'm just gonna do that. Hero choice. I think Sorda is probably gonna be our best chance as well. Because she's just an absolutely brain dead hero. She can just. She can be placed there, she can be placed up there, in the middle there. She'll need a bit of support on these two, but we have plenty of monkeys for support, so... Yeah, also, I'm probably not gonna use the powers, but like... Yeah, I probably don't need a camo trap as much as I would need money. And to be frank, yeah, that's probably the only thing I'm really going to need, so sod it. <sighs> Let's abuse Zorda. I'm gonna have to resist using the free dart monkey. Then... Oh, it's not like max cash you can use. Oh yeah, I still have it on that because of fucking boss events. I'm not gonna do the boss event today because I've wasted too much time. Well, I say wasted. It's been quite productive actually. So... Yeah, they can't take care of the legs anymore. Like... Actually, yeah. The only guys who can really take care of lead properly are... Fucking top half guys here. That is... No, right? We have the fucking hot tip sub. What am I talking about? Hopefully we won't really need this guy. But... 
So. But I'm only really going to be able to use the wizard once. It's over here. And it's going to get popped quite like... Yeah, like, this is kind of full range, but at the same time, we mostly only really need him for the mobs. And mobs are fat bastards, so he'll be able to see them. Up oh, there we go, the stream is being unstable for no reason. Love that. Yeah, let's just check the creator studio while I'm just AFKing this bullshit. In the meantime, pixels filling squares. I know why I decided to just immediately play the challenges of that, it's so grinding. One chat. Oh, there's one chat, right? Why? Why isn't it just displaying the chat? Gonna have to go all the way on the fucking thing while my internet's being fluttered by the live stream. <laughs> Sorry for not responding, by the way. Hush. Okay, no, actually, don't hush. And then view your channel. Uh, do you know bad DJ? That is a point though. Why doesn't the creator studio just default to showing the actual comments? That's the real thing I fucking care about. Not like how many viewers I have. Like, who cares if I have, like, a couple bot viewers? I just want to see what people are fucking saying. Alright, let us murder these. There we go. And then there should only be the one that... Yeah, there we go, this guy handles them. Oh, nice, 69. Alright, let's pause the live stream. Come on, I just want to see the fucking chat. <laughs> and it's paused the... Dark Alicorn. It is a foreign language, so I have no idea what that says. Google Translate time. Why is the second result Google Translate UK? Does it have like a different... I guess it does, because I... Well... Well, indeed. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you're doing well. Right, let's... Why... Alright, no, I didn't check the live stream. Oh, there we go. Let's kill these cunts. And then I'm gonna pop out chat so I can actually.
Live chat is pop out. Okay, there we go. Now I can just play my cringe. Why isn't... It's in the playlist. Play the next fucking song, YouTube. Oh, I'm gonna save the big slam attack. Wait, this guy really can't see them? I guess it is just like a tiny mob, but still. Yeah, it's not a biggie. Then I should only need to worry about a couple more mobs in this entire game. That's pretty good actually, because it means that we get to save our shit. Yeah, I was gonna switch her to to strong so we can them for this guy, but yeah, regrows exist. Let's just have her kill everything. <sighs> All right. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> I do kind of hate that they don't have like a camo targeting option like the other towers do. Like, come on. Oh, I have the mana shield, I don't care. I'd rather have the ability. Why am I not allowed to like go buy that? I mean, it doesn't matter if I do or don't. Yeah, actually, that was a really good cross path choice because I also got the extra pierce from the uh, first tier mill path. Surprising just how OP Sorda can get when you just micro her ability. Yeah, the second mob is never an issue. Okay. Stop spawning the fucking guys. Uh, how many lives do I lose? Three, two, no. The mana shield is not strong enough. It's an easy fix, I can just get a fucking uh, camo sub. Not even the camo sub, just like see in the range. Yeah, there we go. That just handles all of them handily. Probably should have gone like here, but does not matter. Oh, and that's the dog. Come on, dog. Three, two, one. Bye bye. Oh, there he just awkwardly steps back. Fucking stupid creature. Yeah, just the mini ceramic brushes. Apologies for my shit commentary, I'm just tired. I'm always tired. Right, and then... Oh yeah, I can just 
close that now because I have the pop out chat. I do wish I could just fucking. I mean, I easily could, couldn't I? I can just like copy and paste the URL into another tab. Yeah, so why, why the fuck did hate browsers sometimes to pop out windows? Why can't you just work by tabs? Alright, yeah, just saw in this whole plugin. Oh, actually, yeah. So the just put the bitch here. I'm glad we brought the subs because they are by far the best choice. I do really love the cross parking choices you have to make in this game though like it's small but it's meaningful you know it's like do you want infinite range or do you want more pierce like like sure that type of choice is more position based than it is like actual upgrade like based on the strength of the upgrades but you know those are the decisions I like in these games I don't want just that one objectively better option I just want one which is situationally stronger you know like the whole fucking TF2 side grade shit like Oh yeah, just like that. Also man, Sona is so fucking broken. This could have been quite a challenging odyssey if it wasn't for Sona. <laughs> like, the other one that I round up live streaming, the fucking Churchill one, that one was fucking bonkers, because it was just like one of each tower so you couldn't just rely on the same guy for each map it was a like fucking marathon thing <sighs> like these map conditions seem a little bit random actually also this computer is baking Let's have a uh, burst ready. At the very least, we know we don't need to waste Sword's ability for the LEDs. They're probably going to do that because it's quite the annoying way. I do find it so interesting how some of the towers have to wait until their fucking fourth tier to be able to reliably take down mobs. Like, I think, I think triple guns can barely kill mobs in some situations, but yeah, you only really get the reliability at armor piercing. Meanwhile, some other towers, it's just like. Yo, <laughs> I can do the spam, and I like uh, middle path third tier here. 
like, sure, the bomb path is designed to stall mobs, but there's a difference between stalling and I mistimed that. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, whatever, I don't actually need to do this. <sighs> uh, the main issue will arise when, like, camo leads become a thing, but I don't think there are... Alright, 63? No, that's a hard mode that round, uh... What is the round that introduces the camo lead? So now they appear in medium mode. Uh... Ah, no, I have saw this fucking sword dance ability anyway. Sword dance? Ah, whatever. This soundtrack is so fucking nostalgic now. Sonic Rush is definitely a game I should fucking go back and S rank. But it just has a, one of the most satisfying S ranks in the fucking series. There we go, that's how you time it. It has a fucking massive hitbox. Probably so you can be like really lenient with it, but still, it's like damn. <sighs> also, sorry, Dark Alicorn for kind of just rambling or not acknowledging. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, music, why are you musicking? Holy shit. Okay, no. Okay, yeah, let's keep the music playing. <laughs> what in the fuck was that bullshit? Okay, yeah. Let's solve our conundrum immediately. Yeah, there we go. It wasn't that much of a threat, I just needed a bit more. Oh, but yeah, if Solder's ability can't take care of the camo leads, then just gonna need to use a sniper. We also haven't used the wizards yet, but wizard requires a lot of setup, so. Oh, to be fair, I have the money to do that setup. But the wizard is like super useful on one lane tracks and. That is what the final track is, so... E.
Yeah. Oh, yeah, they can handle that. I should really check the sub commander. bit further up the track but it's not really a concern just yet uh, attacks two times faster because oh it's I have the mana shield that said, right, let's just get that as the sub commander. So apparently, there isn't actually much difference on the sub itself, it's just affected by its own buff. Okay, come on. I'm surprised we haven't seen any camel led yet. I know for a fact camel leads are on this map. Well, this is difficulty. I think it's just around 59. Is that a little uh, mini boss before the BFB? Which, to be fair, the only like final mode which is actually kind of difficult is the bad because it just entirely resists slows and non insta kill effects, and just you know, it operates differently to all of the other modes in the game. Okay, yeah, let's wait until they are there. Okay, yeah, that takes care of all of them. Don't need any more towers. And there we go. That was handled handily. And now we cheese the rest. I will say, I do very much prefer these Extreme Odysseys Because it's actually making me think about how I use the towers It's not like, oh I have money, I might as well chuck this down It's, oh, I might need them for the other map Yeah, I don't have the camo reveal, so... Though, I could get the shimmer guy. But like, is it really that worth it? Actually, it might, because... Okay, how much does he cost? Monkey sense shimmer... Necromancer. Yeah, I saw the handles the early game, so I can just have this bitch down. There's no point getting any upgrades until I get monkey sense, so. And then that means I can get the faster attack speed on that guy. Uh, like sure, 
probably make sense to buy that guy sooner, but then I'm losing out on a bit of money. And sure, it's a dark monkey, but I have no idea how important it's going to be. Especially since like the main utility he could give is like popping leads, and well, this guy is already gonna be able to pop leads, so. Yeah, kind of hurts not putting the guy's fireball on, on strong, but with regrows, I do just need to kill them as soon as possible. God, I do not know these lyrics at all. Come on, all the fire, boy. There we go. We got the wall of fire where it matters. Then yeah, also with just the bull guy. It kind of just hits everywhere. It's not exactly targeted, so... That's another reason why I don't really want to rely on that. But yeah, once I get the fucking Necromancer, I'm definitely just full focusing on the fucking other thing. Like, I could get that guy with the fucking thing to entirely meme on this and get rid of the regrow, but it doesn't matter. And that would be like a waste of a monkey anyway. Like the druid of the jungle is actually kind of good on straight maps because the balloons roll over the spikes it leaves. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that. God, they were kind of hard to see. Like, like you know, the fucking modern bolt camouflage with just the fucking l lines on them. It's just unpleasant. There we go. We just have the Whirly of Death. It's only one thing to call it. Uh, we might be able to just coast along with just this one monkey. Especially if we can get Prince of Darkness. I am being like uber fucking conservative, I'm not even gonna be able to place all the monkeys on the final map. Hey, that's good, I guess, we have choice. Yeah, yeah, the challenge that I wound up live streaming, that was like the best possible introduction to Odysseys. I just wound up doing it for the achievement, but it was genuinely fun, just like being so limited like the extreme odysseys are definitely my favorite ones that's for sure <sighs> and they had the foresight of blocking the lower path druids so you can't just like damage scale yourself up you actually have to think about the cross path decisions 
But then of course they include the Prince of Darkness, so... He has the Whirly of Death. Oh yeah, didn't they shimmer while the mole was alive to get rid of the camo inside? I did not know that. Already done that like instantly. Either way. I kind of forgot that the insides can be affected by the map conditions. Makes sense. It's just I forgot. <laughs> Like, this game is surprisingly customizable, especially with like the map editor it has now. Let's see. I haven't seen the fish balloons before. Yeah, you know what? I should probably buy like the splash pop effect also. Hello, Ashy, how you doing? Man, this soundtrack go It is definitely like early 2000s, but fucking hell do I love early 2000s. Man. Man, I do wish that the Hard Odysseys would also increase the round numbers. Because, like, fucking Christ, this is way too easy. I'm literally just playing an easy Odyssey with slightly less towers. But, like... This, this version has given so many towers that it's just, like, bruh. This is why I didn't bother streaming myself doing the other towers, even though it would be easy weekly content. It's like, do I, do I really feel like just the normal Odysseys are valuable content? No. <laughs> and my own boss, oh yeah, I can buy Prince of Darkness. Yeah, everything's just gonna die now. Ugh. Hello, Baba. Get in. Christ, it is so hot in this room. I just opened the fucking hallway door and it just cold. Just absolute fucking cold. I wonder why this guy prefers summoning them on this side. I saw one up there. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a few that go up there. I mean, I don't really care where they spawn as long as they're inside the Whirly of Death. And well, they're certainly in the fucking Whirly of Death. Prince of Darkness is usually just strong on like the straightways, but damn, on these like multi-directional tracks, he's he also fucking wrecked shot. It's kind of a shame that I didn't get to use the fucking top half dart on one of the few maps he's actually good on, but I don't know, it's just the challenge. <sighs> and just watch this guy melt fucking round 63. So good. Also, man, that was a massive lag spike when killing them. I think it's purely because I have so many tabs open because I, I have like 
the art commission still open so I don't have to like reopen all the tabs and you know less obstacles to doing something means I'm more likely to fucking do it. Why are, why are the mobs bigger than the BFBs? Yeah, yeah, exactly my point. I'm a, I'm easily distracted. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. The guy's happy with me just finishing the balloons game. It was like talking to my parents. I oh, want more game. Then don't clean my room. <laughs> Except instead of just like cleaning the room, it's just like, oh yeah, I'll draw this pawn for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do I just do Prince of Darkness again? I think I do just do Prince of Darkness again to be fair because like, I can just put them directly above Sorda, they put the fire here, and then, yeah. have him target strong. That is if he can fucking hit the balloons. The most unsatisfying thing in this game is just having every monkey miss the fucking pinks. Oh well, we won't need to actually hit things because they will hit themselves. There we go. What the fuck is he? I mean, it doesn't matter. They both like cross here, but like, what the fuck? How effective this guy is still going to be without the worry of death. Because, like, Prince of Darkness is still, like, fucking strong, but balance is an unbalanced map. <laughs> Very close to the Necromancer now. I think we will still have to use Sword's ability to pass the fucking round with the leads, but yeah, definitely they appear around 28 and it's 25 already. Okay, no, just have him target first. Just miss the stuff that make it through his, through both him and Sorda. He's not exactly hitting the fucking thing. All right, no. Uh, I'm gonna use Sorda's ability there, and then, yeah. Yeah, because that was barely not enough damage. We could still probably win, but like... I don't want to chance it. Yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna get Necromancer.
Yeah, I wish he would spawn them like so they fully go around like that, but I do just kind of need it to move across all of the spawn, so. That said, it doesn't really matter because he's getting all of the pots and hills and the most spawn on top of him, so his main weakness of running our graveyard is null and void. Super unsatisfying, I can't have like a fucking alchemist just fucking buffing him, but at the same time, don't really need it. Honestly, the alchemist is probably like the most fucking uh, trap things ever, because it's like, gets you to over centralize on one tower, so Oh, this, this buff will give them one extra damage and a bit of extra attack speed. Oh wait, if I put a village, that'll 20% extra speed. You know, I got these two buffs, so I might as well get a fucking engineer down and get energizer up. And then you just end up spending so much on just one power. What the fuck? I mean, it doesn't matter, I can just use the fucking sword ability, but... Hello, Jas. You don't seem very interested. You're just happy that you nicked my fucking spot hat, aren't you? You see why I claim it? <laughs> oh, you fucking cunt. Why did he take so damn long to spawn the fucking fire? Okay, wait until after he actually spawns the damn fire pit. Oh, after the mob dies. What? What's that RNG? What's that fucking RNG, honestly? I mean, it doesn't matter, sword of real level up, so the next mob that comes by will die. Especially since it only comes at round 50. But like, damn. Yeah, this guy is like, uh, the power jump between the tier 3 and the tier 4 is fucking insane on the Necromancer. It's like... It's honestly like one of the more unsatisfying climbs in power. Kind of like how the fucking bomb path. Alchemist goes from like a money tower into oh yeah I can one shot Zoma gods, but I won't give you money for it. <laughs> it's like you basically have to buy them separately. No, uh, fucking Christ. I had the ability, I was gonna save scum, fuck. It wasn't even difficult, I was just fucking rambling. <laughs> yeah, I can't really ex- Uh. Yeah, one small, I'll just keep him on first. He can catch whatever the sword misses. 
sword that basically handles the fucking early game anyway. Honestly, I don't really like the fucking heroes. They're just so over centralizing. Like I've tried them all out. Like ETN is is really good with his fucking thingy. Ovin, uh, he he's an accessory to the druids. Uh, ben is just like easy mode. But like, and then Sorda is just like the. She just plays the game by herself most of the time. But like, I don't know, they aren't like unbalanced. Like they're strong early game, they're strong late game, but the mid game they sort of fall off. So you still have to like plan your defense around them. But it's just like, I don't know, it's a bit over central. If it was like, only strong early game or only strong late game then I wouldn't mind as much because I it's a well actually late game would still be pretty strong because of fucking low cost of these guys like you know just just basically paying like a couple thousand at most and then you just have something more powerful than fucking Super Monkey, which is way more expensive. Alright, well, yeah. I'm just gonna have to pay attention on round 40 and 50. And I don't really need to cry about fucking thingies. No AFK. Oh, I got this fucking boss. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to switch up there. Uh, there's D. The round and round, round and round and round. Round and round and round and round and round. Round and round and round and round. And round, and round. Nah. Yeah. Why is it gonna play one of the many cutscene songs or is it gonna play stage song? Why was it? Oh my god. The fucking thing was clicked off. Uh, it was off screen. I. So annoying. I could have just. Ah. Uh, 
fucking pressing a button and it did nothing because I was clicked off the screen. Fucking Christ. Yeah, play New Venture. I fucking need the good vibes. New Venture, la la, la la, la la. New Venture, la la. New Venture, la la. Venture, la la. Let's see. Oh my god, I got 20% of the fucking thing left. Uh. Yeah, I just have a Google Chrome tab running like an idle game because for some reason, Congregate just hates Firefox. Like, it's told me to disable the fucking ad blocker to get it to work, but I turned off the uBlock origin and it still didn't work, so. Chrome time. I should probably save the thing because I don't think the auto save was actually working either. Uh, I can buy Wall of Fire, Monkey Sense. Wow, this this guy has even worse positioning. I'm going to have to use Sword's ability to kill the mob. I could always use the Free Dark Monkey, but. It's a matter of pride. I know I can beat it with just... I can 2TC this. Even though this isn't a chimps, I can 2 tire chimps. <laughs> nah. We are now revealing all of the camos to the camo detecting tower. This is purely a good use of our resources. <laughs> Fucking hate the purple balloon star. Star aids. Alright, come on, necromancer. Alright, there we go. Now all I really need to wait for is the fucking mold to appear. And then I'm gonna have to keep paying attention. <sighs> Alright, there you go. I'm actually clicking on the screen now. Can I avoid grinning my teeth? Fucking autism, man. Leave me alone. Can I have one negative element? Not like all of them. Right, no. Fucking co-worker minus literally everything. It's like, how the fuck? How are you alive? <laughs> body's so fucked up that their body's producing the hormones for the wrong sex. God's sake. Uh, uh, when it's round fucking 39, I'm gonna lower the speed. Because I do just need to have this cunt fucking dead. Come on. 
Where's the funny mob? There's the funny mob. Spawn your fire. Thank you. There we go. That was easy. I have achieved the impossible. I have achieved focus. I have became zen like Bluey <laughs> when... Fucking hell. I know like literally no one's watching at this point. I just need to be rambling to be entertaining to literally anyone who may appear. Yeah, oh, one conquer viewer. Okay, there's still someone. Probably Ashelon still. They're sweetie. Once I get Prince of Darkness, it should be easy to win. Well, I was a bit worried there, but I shouldn't be. Okay, I can leak two lives. Alright, that's four. Because it's blues. Alright, come on. Oh, it's more expensive anyway. Okay. Come on, give me, give me the funny wizard, I want the funny wizard, give me the fucking funny wizard, thank you. Yeah, piss off mobs, you're not an issue for me now. All your pops are belong to us. <sighs> And now Sword is just completely useless. Good. <laughs> Have I only just realised that this map has crabs on it? I should probably slow down the game for... For the fucking BFB, just in case it, this guy isn't enough. Should hopefully just be like a sword dance ability. Oh, it will probably be like stab the mobs insides. No, nope. okay, we win. We just win. And this is why I hate that heroes are over centralizing because I this bitch is a uh, oh yeah profit at the beginning of the game place one other tower and you win like sure on the expert maps it's not quite like that but it's still like quite over tuned like these days it's like I could buy attack shooter or I could buy one that upgrades itself and is more reliable early game as well. It's like 
is like sure the attack zone exists but like that's received so many nerfs that now it's like well why not Sorda? And I I have to agree, why not Sorda? Sorda's just better. And there we go. I knew it. There is no bigger meme than a Sword of 2TC. I can just spam all the towers I fucking want now. There's not really a point in doing this actually. But I might as well, this is the last map. Just have him target strong, cause why fuck not? The main guy I need is... How big does his range get? It gets pretty fucking big actually. I do kind of want him to attack the four soldier anyway. So he can get all the pops. Yep, yeah, he's completely out of range. Doesn't matter, soldier just fucking carries. What? Use your fucking ability. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Alright, and the monkey sense. Oh, of course he plays it on the bottom. Why why wouldn't he? Stupid fucking boss. No, I'm gonna restart. I'm gonna restart. I want him to have a better placement. Because like, that is a lot of damage we are missing out on for fucking no reason. Because like, oh, I don't feel like being effective. It's a fairly easy fix. It's like I can just have the range touch the border and then touch the fucking top concrete. That would definitely be like closer for the guy. Might as well get the lower path first anyway, because I like, genuinely does not matter. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we shall see just how many pops this guy gets. 
Yeah, I'll have him target strong. His fucking wall of fire will take care of the bulk and then these guys will be stragglers. To be fair, just target last. But yeah, this wizard is uh, weak as hell. I keep fluctuating between how much I like the wizard. It's like... Because uh, he has an amazing late game. He, but like his early game is so unreliable and it's purely down to his purple weakness. It's like, yeah, Prince of Darkness is his best upgrade because uh, even though it's like the weakest out of the wizards, he isn't countered by a basic fucking bloom. Like, oh, it's not even that he's countered by a bloom. By default, the wizard also can't pop the fucking leads either. So it's like, you have two weaknesses. You, you're basically forced into the fire upgrade, so you aren't... Well, yeah, actually, the fire scales so much better than the thing. The Prince of Darkness is definitely one of the cases of bad cross-pathing decisions where it's like there's just the objectively wrong choice. It's like the fire scales with graveyard damage but the uh, bolt doesn't for some reason. Like if they just changed, changed the bolt to actually being affected then his high pierce bolt having tremendous damage like just having the thing instead of going from 1 to 2 damage be affected by the graveyard and then the thing doubles damage you suddenly have a fucking high pierce double double damage projectile it would be like it may not be better than the fire on single track maps but for like multi-track maps where you can't rely on the fire, you could probably go top path, make use of the damage scaling with the graveyard, and yeah. Just yeah. And yeah, this guy is just fucking breaking everything. And you know what? The next guy I'm going to buy is just gonna be another wizard. Because they just fucking break everything. Because he gives the fucking buff. What is the... A buff on it anyway. I'm gonna double check since I'm just here AFK. Uh, yeah, come on. What the fuck? What the fuck? I know it's alternate balloon rounds, but what the fuck? He had the full extended track length. Okay, I'm... Also, what the fuck is this search? Like, Prince of Darkness, which is actually a tower, it's fucking overpowered in the search by the fucking Paragon, and then... DDTs, because I guess like it's a counter to TDTs, but still. Whatever, I'm just gonna. Oh. 
Uh, what is the buff it gives? What is the fucking buff? Plus one damage and last fifty percent longer. Oh, is that it? I thought it was like a pierce upgrade. I mean, I'm still gonna get it because I. Well, it's the same reason why druids and ninjas break the odysseys. They just power scale off of each other. But man, that's kind of annoying. Gonna have to just pay more attention. Alright, let's just have you to target last. Yeah, make more use of your pierce. I'm just gonna have to pay more attention. Doesn't really matter. It's just kind of annoying. It's kind of really annoying actually, like what the fuck? Give me funny fire. Uh, if I'm struggling on mob damage, it might be worth it to get the fucking uh, sub which can see into other ranges because I don't need the lead popping power now. And I clearly don't need the pierce because the fucking wizard exists. So yeah, just like a damage sub. That was exactly why I took so many anyway. Uh, is selling enabled? Yeah, selling is enabled. Can... Just have him target strong. Like, the first has a bit of radius to it, so. So yeah, it's a single lane track, so I might as well just manually target him. Just have him spawn the shit at the very start. just slightly before covers the whole radius anyway so yeah Man, Sonic Rush Adventure is such an underrated game. You know, for a fucking uh, 
for Sonic Maker, I don't really stream much fucking Sonic stuff, do I? I should really go change that. Like, sure, I did stream myself going through the fucking DLC for Frontiers, which, to be fair, that was extremely fucking fun. It's like, sure, they did overdo the difficulty at the end, but I would rather a game too hard than too easy. And honestly, I do prefer it too hard because I... I can... Because now that I know what I'm doing, I can turn up the diff... I'm still gonna do King's Troll on easy, but... I'm gonna turn it back to... No. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not going to die. Because I'm fucking rambling. Alright, there we go. Not getting fucked over on damage. Nope, still gonna die. Cool. I like not being able to do anything. Continue. Like, if... Alright, so what tower actually helps me? Fury of the jungle might actually. Like, hear me out. If I do the thorn swan, that's like 5 damage. Jungle's bounty, and then. So I get some lightning in here for some general damage. All I really need to do now is just like. Yeah, and then it grabs these guys, or it... Yeah, sure, whatever, that works. I can just sell the guy when it reaches a certain point. Oh wait, no, sell him now, he's stealing the graveyard. Yeah, I can leak those too. Still have the mana shield. Alright, but yeah, now it's got the full graveyard. The damage can now scale with it. Or is that a Prince of Darkness only thing? Alright, Necromancer. Alright, there we go. That was a smart ability use. Just that my utter lack of focus while playing this shit is insane. It's definitely gonna be a shame when I do eventually unlock everything. But like... Can't play the same game for my whole fucking life. Okay, now I... God's sake. Do I just use the fucking cash power? I think I do just use the fucking cash power. No, don't, don't do that, it's fucking lame as shit. All I need is mob damage, so I'll get the thing with fucking mob damage.
And there we go, and there we go. Cool. Yeah, that's just 5,000, so... And there we go. He just handles shit. Kind of a little worried about how far they're getting, but... Yeah, I don't really need to worry. Yeah, both their graveyards are still full. There we go, this is probably the only time you're gonna actually see use out of the fucking thing. Yeah, we win. I'm still probably just gonna get this... Just to like... Yeah, just so I'll get strong. Actually, it doesn't matter. Keep them first because the main issue will just be Zoma Gods. What in the fuck is that vibration? I do really like letting loose some fucking final map though. It's just a shame that I didn't really have to restrict myself that much like like the fucking power of one thing was just like damn oh my god the fucking travel mini games in Sonic Rush Adventure though so like a lot of people complain that they were gimmicky but like Come on, that's the fun. It's a little mini game between stages. Like, you played an entire zone's worth of stages. And there's like, a lot of other Sonic games tend to lack what the whole fucking... You know, I think that, personally, I like about Sonic 3 so much is 
is the little checkpoint mini game. So it's like getting extra goodies that helps you throughout your adventure or whatever. Like Sonic Rush Adventures, sure they don't really benefit you in that way, but what in the fuck is going on out here? Oh whatever. Let's just keep buying fucking Intel subs. And then... Yeah, this oh my god is just gonna die. The Zong. The Zong. Oh, I can buy another one. There. Yeah, fuck it's just gonna die. Oh yeah, it's ultimate blue round, so there's two of them. Doesn't really matter. Bam, bam, bam. I really need to put up the fucking soft layer of the fucking soundproofing. Man, that was slightly disappointing. Extremely cheap. And then the 50 medals, that is what I was really after. Because... Alright, so 50 maps in chimps, sacrifice every tire type. I should really just fuck about and get that done. Uh, 25 to life. Yeah, I, I should also really get that one as well. Capture one of each. Win 25 games against double HP mobs. Oh yeah, that's another reason why I should just use the fly power up. I need to get this achievement. It's just so much. Oh yeah, I need like the chunky monkey achievement. Open. Okay, I'm only halfway through the fucking daily chest thing. Uh, pop 5,000. Man. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to contested territory achievements. Those are gonna be fucking annoying as hell. A perfect week. It's not really a hard achievement, I just hate the concept of it. Magical gold. Pop 50 golden blooms in magic. Oh, you can fuck off of that. <laughs> you can actually fuck off of that shit. Like, Crash of the Titans. I could probably do that in like free play. Finish your game with exactly half your starting lives, half cash. Yeah. Got the race achievements are gonna be difficult as hell. Oh yeah, that's the fucking uh, whoever's constant. Gain ten levels for doing one round. In any non chimps game. Yeah, I really don't have that many achievements left, and many of these I could probably do quite easily. Like, especially like Insta Defense, that one's an easy one. Uh, the powers is. How many powers do I even have? Oh yeah, I do have plenty of powers I could use. Like...
You know what? Let's get Josh's constant. Uh, what's a map that I can play chimps on that I haven't beat? Uh, I... That's impossible. Um... Yeah, what? Why is this guy? Oh yeah, I haven't done them possible because it's kind of just boy. Is sort of a good choice for Koi? Let's find out. Yeah. I don't think she's that good of a pick. To be fair, she's doing work. So yeah, the middle path is better for... I uh, will just see how far Sorda can get on her own. Uh, dark. Just Dark Monkey. <laughs> Actually, let's get a better positioned Dark. Nah, sod it. It's an easy map. We don't need pre planning. All we need is funny... Well, I'm actually going to try out the funny strategy of having the smart spikes plus the fucking explodey spikes. A like, good strat for that would be like the fucking... Yeah, like this guy isn't gonna see into the other range, so actually, I think this should just be the explodey spikes. And then just watch me just first time this fucking map on chimps just doing the meme strategy when I tried to do it properly at some other point. Oh. Yeah, let's just meme this up. It'll be funny. I will definitely put the alchemist next to the perma spike. Because I, that one is going to have the most effect. Mostly because the thing will carry over round so it can charge up damage. Why is this strat fucking working? It's so stupid. I have a, I have an emergency place dart monkey, I have Sorda on a fucking corner, well on a fucking triangle, I have just a spike factory that it's only got 9 pops on it.
Yeah, let's just long reach smart spikes. Oh wait. Yeah. Hot spikes. is going on out there. Man, this fucking Osu ass fucking minigame in the sub. I have no idea why they decided to make one of their travel minigames fucking Osu, but certainly enjoyable for a little bit. I can understand why people hated them though, because I yeah, it was certainly an unnecessary thing. Let's get the fucking deadly spikes next. Cause like, yeah, while they're not making it through the fucking main attacker, might as well have it charge up even more damage. Oh, that was a waste of an ability. Oh, well. Wait. Oh. Okay, yeah, we, we need to upgrade to spike balls now. Yeah, we fucking need spike balls. I definitely want to weaken this mob as much as possible. There, it'll, I'll get most of that bonus damage. And there we go. Now we are cruising. Okay, this guy's getting pops now. So yeah, we definitely need spike mines. But yeah, double spike factory is so stupid. that to pop the lead. There we go.
Yeah, Spike Mines is like fucking strong, like damn. And then this guy's just gonna instantly blow it up. Guys, Bunk Mines is so good. Have, why isn't this guy giving. Okay. Yeah, jungle drums. Yeah, I think just a second alchemist will actually do quite nicely. I might as well get the discounts then. Like, just spread the, the buffs a bit better. I do wonder. Okay, they did think about that. Alright, yeah, there we go. They're both fully buff now. Jesus Christ, shut up. Yeah, just keep him out of the buff range. <sighs> okay, now this one can get fucked off. So it's a damn cutscene music that's like you don't really want to listen to. I'm gonna just end the fucking stream now because I have no idea how much is getting picked up. 